Uh, yeah, Scots are so good at making whiskey because we have had so many years practice. Uh, the, the first recorded production of whiskey in Scotland was in 1494, so we've had uh, so many years of producing whiskey in this fine small country of ours uh, that we've built up a heritage and uh, a history of creating whiskey. Using the land is something which uh, Scots have always been very good at and whisky relies quite heavily on the land. Uh, the very fertile plains that we have uh, on Speyside uh, for creating the barley that we require and uh, also the climate and the environment around us. Uh, they always say that today's rain is tomorrow's whisky. So uh, we have uh, the, the climate that gives us the, the consistency of water. We also have soft water, which is really good for making whiskey. A, a lovely, pure, clean, clear, soft water, which uh, is, forms the basis of the whiskey that we produce at our distilleries. Climate in Scotland really suits the production of whiskey. A wonderful, mild uh, climate during summer through to winter. Uh, where we can mature the whisky, which allows the angels to take their share of the alcohol to make the, the mellowing of the final product uh, one of the, the key parts of it. Uh, the landscape obviously has a part to play in it because we, we take so many of the ingredients that we use from the landscape. Um, unlike wine, the, 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 the terroir is not a, a reference we use, but more the climate, more the coastal regions having uh, sea air, giving a briny, salty effect on the whisky, uh, a mellower kind of feel within Speyside. So the different regions and their different climates uh, will have an effect on the character of the spirit where it comes from. Every distillery uh, will create a very different style of whisky, but within the particular regions of Scotland you can find a certain identity, a certain common thread or theme within the characteristic that will run through that region and give it a style. The, with the Speyside whiskies tend to be a little bit sweeter, uh, the Highland whiskies tend to have a more floral mellow character, uh, the Lowland whiskies tend to be a lot lighter. Uh, and then you have the island, uh, the west coast, particularly the Islay whiskies, which have a very peaty, smoky characteristic to them. Scotland, as I've said, gives us uh, the whisky that we know and love. <laughs>